This is tutorial number five, and it covers how to extrude a sketch within Autodesk Inventor. So to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sketch on a couple different planes and a couple different surfaces, and we're going to extrude a part out of that. So to start off, let's just rotate this plane just a little bit so we can see on the side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sketch a square and we're going to extrude it out and we're going to make a complete square. So let's click a two point rectangle. Let's make a rough sketch of it here. Now let's click the dimensioning tool and we're going to make it 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So for the first one let's type in 50 and for the second one we'll do 50 again. Now we've made our sketch, so let's click return. Now these are all the features that we're able to do on the sketch, so let's click extrude. And usually you're going to have to click profile to select which sketch you want to extrude out, but since this is the first sketch that we've done, there's only one sketch that we can extrude, so Autodesk Inventor already selects it for you. So as you can see, the darker area in the back is our sketch and the lighter area is what's being extruded out. So right now only 10 millimeters is getting extruded out. Let's change it to 50. And you can see that 50 millimeters comes out and it's a complete square. Now you're also able to extrude it out from different directions from that sketch that we've made. Right now it's going to the left. We can make it go to the right. And you can see our sketch there and the extrude going to the right. Or you can do a mid-plane one which goes out equal distance from both sides. You can see the sketch is the darker area inside and the lighter areas on each other side is the extrude coming out from the sides. But for now let's just make it go all the way to the left. Click OK. Now let's click the rotate button and you can see our square, our perfect cube that we made. Now let's choose another sketch plane. This time let's choose the XZ plane. Let's click sketch and let's rotate this up a little bit and we're going to draw a triangle. So click the line tool and just draw three lines that intersect together. Now it's important that your sketches are closed by the end because say we have a sketch such as that. You're not going to be able to extrude anything from it because it has to be a closed sketch. So you have to have your sketch, it has to be closed to be able to be extruded. Now once you've made your triangle, click return, click extrude. Now there's more than one sketch in here, so we get to select which profile we want to use. So once you find the triangle and bring it over, it's going to highlight the profile that you're going to do in red. So then click it, and now you're able to see a preview of where it's coming from. For this one, let's do the midplane and we'll do 50 again. Click OK. And now if we rotate this around a little bit, you can see that our triangle only goes up about halfway on the square. Now, if we look at the cube that we just made, and we look at the different axes or planes, we can see those three planes, but we don't actually have a plane on the top here but we're able to extrude off the top. So if we click the top surface and then click sketch, we've actually made like a sketch plane on top of the cube and we're able to sketch on top of that cube. So now let's draw a circle and we'll extrude it up out of the top of the cube. So let's click center point circle, draw a circle on the top, click return, click extrude. Now we get to choose the profile here. If we highlight it here, we're going to extrude another square minusing the circle. If we select the circle, we're just going to extrude a circle up. So for the first time, let's just do the circle. So we've highlighted the circle, let's click it. And if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that right now it's coming out. If we change the direction, it's going to go in and not going to do anything. If we make it go mid-plane, it's going to go halfway in, halfway out. So let's make this one go all the way out, click OK, and now we've extruded out the circle. 
Now let's go to extrusion three, right click, and let's click delete, click OK. And now let's draw another circle on the top again. Click sketch, click circle, and we'll draw another circle on the top there. Click return. Now this time we're going to extrude the square out of the top minusing the circle. So let's click extrude. Now the profile we're going to highlight is the red area there, so let's click it. And now you can see in the extrude that another square is coming out minusing the circle. Click OK. And if we rotate it around, you can see inside that it goes down to that first cube. Now another way that an intersection such as this is going to work for you is if you want to make a hollow pipe. So let's click, unclick the rotate. Let's click the XY plane. Let's click sketch. And let's click a center point circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw one circle, a large one, and then right at the center point again, let's draw another circle, a little bit smaller. Click return. Now let's move this into the center a little bit. And when we click extrude, we're going to select that profile. So let's click that. And we're able to make a hollow tube in one shot from one sketch. And we can make this, let's make this go out 300. Click OK. And if we rotate it around, you can see that it's hollow and it's empty inside. And that concludes our tutorial on how to extrude sketch within Autodesk Inventor.